So yeah, as I've said here, you've got the autosomal recessive and the autosomal dominant. It's very straightforward. It's either dominant or recessive, right? And you probably learned that in school. So if it's dominant, one parent is all you need to pass it on. And there's a 50% chance that they'll pass that on to any of their kids, right? Like having brown eyes. Yeah, sure. And although eye color is also... Okay, whenever, no, 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 apologies. I, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> but like eye color is weird because like you can have them... Uh, yeah. There's different shades. It's, it's, it's so difficult. Yeah, yeah no, no. You're, okay. That's the one that we use. I'm not trying to shoot you down. I feel shot. I apologize. <laughs> Shots fired, I guess. But yeah. Um, so, you know, there's dominant where you've got a 50% chance of ha passing it on to your kid, essentially, because you just need one copy of the gene to have EDS, if that makes sense. Um, so that's the difference between dominant and recessive. So a dominant gene, um, and we're going to ignore the autosomal um, and all of that right now because it's it's not super relevant um, at the level that we're talking at. So um, the a dominant gene, you only need one copy of it to have the sort of um, the outcome of that gene, the sort of presentation of it, right? A recessive gene, you need to have two copies of it. Like and you have ginger. Yeah, exactly. You have two copies of um, pretty much all of your genes, unless there's some kind of fault or you're a man um, and <laughs> or a, a cisgendered man, actually. Right. Well, a cisgendered man with XY chromosomes. Yeah, you got it. <sighs> This is so complicated now, man. Like this is this is why this is why getting into genetics is bloody difficult, right? Because you've got the concept of a man, you've got a concept of a cis man, and then you add in chromosomes, and you're like, oh, how does how does yeah how do we match this up? You know, and most people will say if you've got X Y and you haven't transitioned, you're a cis man. Genetics are very complicated, and that might not be the case. It's simple high school biology, Corey. Yeah. There's a reason that it's simple high school biology, Luke. It's because high school biology is simplified for teenagers. Is that uh, not how the universe works? It just follows the rules of high school biology. Yeah, quantum mechanics. Nah, 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 nah. Didn't learn about it in the high school, so it doesn't exist. If you look, if you zoom in far enough on a quark, it's just there reading a little high school biology book. <laughs> going, oh, that's how it's meant to work. Oh, my mistake. God. Exactly, right? So you've got... You, you could, we could just easily say you've got two copies of pretty much every gene, right? And when it comes to dominant, you only need one copy, one out of two, to be that thing before you have the sort of phenotype, that outcome. And with recessive, you need both copies. So, you know, dominant, like you said, Luke, brown eyes, and recessive would be blue eyes or ginger hair. You seem to have both. Wow. And I'm so recessive. <laughs> If there's a recession, blame me. You are a very, like, you are a very recessive person, and you're very, like, you know, you're very, I wouldn't say a doormat, Luke, but... <laughs> what the hell? You're not putting up a fight right now, are you? Let's move on to the... Because <laughs> I have to stay at your house tonight. I don't want to fall out. <laughs> oh, dear, dear.